Welcome to Anime Run FX, a full comprehensive VFX course on creating stylized simulations. We'll create a fast-paced running shot with emphasis on timing and impact. We start in Solaris by bringing all the assets and layering everything together. All the assets, including the buildings, layout and character, will be provided in the downloads. These will be in USD format with all the materials and settings already applied to ensure a fast and smooth process setting up the scene. Then we can jump into SOPS and start working on the simulations. First we are going to simulate the cloth using vellum. Here we will discuss best practices when it comes to simulating fast-moving objects. Then we'll create the first layer of particles that will act as a wind force that's around the character. We're going to use various pyro and pop simulation techniques to achieve this effect. For the second layer, we'll use similar techniques to create particles that are trailing directly off the character. We'll also create dust kickback when the character steps on the ground. I will show you different ways that we can use retiming to our advantage when dealing with fast-moving simulations. Finally, we also create some simple patches of fog that we can place around the city to make it more alive. After we have all of our effects, we can go back in Solaris and start rendering. We'll create separate renders for each layer to have complete control later in comp. This means we'll render the city, atmospheric fog, particles and dust all as individual layers. In this section we'll talk a lot about fog, lights, materials, render settings and generally a lot of things that you need to be aware of when rendering in Solaris. We'll render everything using Karma XPU. In case you don't want to spend time rendering, I've included all the renders that I use so you can jump directly into compositing. In Nuke, we bring all of the layers together and start assembling the shot. We start by splitting up the AOVs and recreating the beauty pass. I'll show you different ways that you can dramatically change the entire shot by adjusting the light passes. We'll also discuss different ways to add additional details such as dust and scratches to the geometry. Then we'll layer our atmospheric fog that we set up in Houdini, but also create additional volumes and god rays directly inside of Nuke to improve our lighting even more. To add more detail, we'll even create an additional fog pass directly inside of Nuke using the native particle system. Finally, we'll layer our particle effects on top. We'll do a lot of grading, adding displacements and glow, and after some final post-processing effects, we complete the comp. There's a lot to cover in this course, so I hope you will enjoy it, and let's get started.